Welcome back to All Hans on Deck. We are very excited about this episode. We have a surprise for you. We are in Spanish Key in the Bahamas. That's right. This is not Fort Pierce. This is the Bahamas. We've been here for a couple of days, so it's probably time that we filled you all in on how we got here. Last Friday, we were still on the dock at Dockside Marina in Fort Pierce because step one of our crossing story is fueling the boat up. We had burned quite a bit getting down from Beaufort. morning it's the last morning here at the Fort Pierce dock we actually have to slip for a couple more days but we're gonna unuse those days and make our way down to Lake Worth better angle for the crossing just gotta feed the dogs take them on a walk and then we'll be ready to push off I'm very ready to leave this dock we just got back from walking the dogs and discovered something was murdered on our boat last night What is it? That is so gross. We, I didn't really want to say this, but the first morning we talked to another sailboat and they said that the previous night a snake was on their boat because a bird brought it and like dropped it and left it on their boat, which is literally my worst nightmare. And it looks like something similar happened on our boat last night. We gotta hose this off. That is so gross. With that mess cleaned up, it was time to fuel up the boat. So we rolled off the dock at Dockside and we went over to the Pelican Bay Yacht Club. Once we were done fueling up and emptying our holding tank, it was time to head down the ICW one last time. It's crazy. So much current. We're ripping it like 9-2 and 8-8, eight, eight, bouncing back and forth a little bit. If only we could go this fast all the time. We'd make it everywhere in no time. We might be doing something crazy. Today was supposed to be just moving the boat from Fort Pierce down to Lake Worth. So that way we could have a better angle and maybe leave tomorrow to cross. However, the most recent forecast update says the easiest time across the Gulf Stream will probably be tonight. So, we might just roll straight and out of the inlet at Lake Worth and take off without ever dropping anchor down there. So, you know, we're gonna have to find out exactly, uh, you know, if this plan is feasible, we're gonna vet it throughout the day, but we might just be on our way to cross. We got a little traffic jam up here. We are at number three sailboat in line to go under this bridge. We have another traffic jam. The same three sailboats that went through the last bridge are trying to get through this bridge. And it looks like there's a huge northbound motor yacht on the other side of the bridge. It would be really nice if we could go through first because the sailboats move slower and we have another bridge to catch in 15 minutes after this one and that motor yacht could move a lot faster to get to their bridge. Uh -oh. 
as we were on our way down the ICW, I had taken a look at the weather one more time and it appeared that instead of us having to wait for that weather window, it was ready right then and there. We had been planning on crossing with a friend who has actually the exact same boat that we do. I texted him real quick about the weather. He responded, hey, can you give me a call back? So when I called him, he told us that he had decided he was leaving at 5 p.m. that same day. We were supposed to get to Lake Worth a little after three, so we had a decision to make. Do we wait for the next window, or do we basically get there, go straight out the inlet, and set off on our crossing? We chose to set off because the next weather window could have been several days from then. The sunlight is hitting my little sun, what do you call this thing, a sun? I don't even know what you call this, my little ornament thing. The sun is hitting this thing like perfectly and it's like casting rainbows all over the cabin. So I'm gonna take that as a good sign that our passage is gonna go smoothly. It's almost go time, by almost go time, I mean, after I put up this power, the shore power cable, it's go time. I'm excited and quite nervous. Um, we've been farther offshore than we will be on this crossing, but the Gulf Stream complicates things because when we were 50 to 60 miles offshore in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, there wasn't a lot of current. So if something went wrong, we could kind of sit there and fix it. <laughs> uh, but here will be carried somewhere, but we got good sails, good rigging, good engine. We know what we're doing, we have good routing. Weather window is good, as far as we know. So everything should be okay. But yeah, about time to pick up anchor. All we have to do is get through one more night sail. Yeah. One more time. Sit we are leaving with, it's not really a buddy boat, it's a, uh, we are loosely attached to them, but they the have, same boat as us. they have the it's same boat as us, which is how we know them. So our little boat twin is also going to the Bahamas. It just like feels like I know we'll probably be sailing miles away from them, but it, there's just like such a, another level of comfort when you know that someone else is making the crossing at around the same time as you from the same place to the same place. Um, yeah, even like I said, even though they might we might not even be able to see them, like we know that they'll be out there and that's just like a huge comfort. Very pretty night tonight. Kirsten is giving me the, the squinty eyes because my light was hitting her in the face. Um, full moon should be nice and bright. I'm not sure it's going to be bright enough for the camera, but very pretty. It's a little rolly, but we knew what we signed up for. The worst part of the crossing, however, was sometime in the middle of the night, probably around midnight, uh, as we were getting close to the Bahama Banks, there were at least six cruise ships that were crossing back and forth in front of us. And that can be quite frightening because we're a relatively little boat in a big expanse of water and they are large boats and would demolish you if you happened to cross their paths a little too close. But we were successfully able to avoid them and after that, honestly, the seas picked up a little more in that last like hour or two before we reached the Bahama Banks. We just climbed up onto the little Bahama Bank and so I'm a 
officially calling it. We made it. Now we just have to get to land somewhere. <laughs> so we have a little skirt across the banks to find an anchorage for tonight. Check in tomorrow and life's good right now. We are well and truly in it to the banks of a little Bahama. I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying all the names and everything right, but we are north of the little Bahama Island. Great Sail Key is, I don't know, 10 miles ahead of us, 12 miles ahead of us. We are gonna go past that and anchor, hopefully, in Crab Key. That's Motor's off. We only have probably about an hour, hour and a half where we have a good point of sail, good enough wind, and we can really get after it. But right now, it feels so good to be sailing in the Bahamas. of our sail through the morning was actually quite pleasant. We put up the sails for a little bit, which was so nice. And we made it to Crab Key sometime in the afternoon. And your blood is in the water as you go way farther than like we're used to, I'm used to. Oh my gosh, I know that, oh, too bad. We're in the Bahamas! Ah! <laughs> it's exciting. Ah. Just gotta finish this anchoring procedure and <laughs> cool well, We still can't get off the boat because we haven't cleared customs yet, so yeah. we'll stay on the boat for a little bit longer, but we're here. <laughs> And the water is so clear. Look, you can see the anchor chain, like, like almost basically to the anchor. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. It's very cool. <laughs> I don't want to jump in the water, but also it's not like super warm. The wind is pretty chilly, so maybe I won't do that yet. Yeah. Okay. Which brings us to this lovely marina. We're here at the Spanish K Marina. We came here primarily to clear customs because we'd heard that it's quite easy and it turns out it was very easy. So we highly recommend coming here if possible. Gotta explain. So we just cleared customs. So that means we can take down our yellow quarantine flag and we can put up the Bahama courtesy flag. This is exciting. <laughs> The second reason was, as you can tell, it's kind of windy. So a front was coming through and us being new to the area, new to the Bahamas and not really having experience, we didn't really know where to drop the hook in protection for this wind front, which was much stronger last night than it is right now. So we decided to stay here on the dock for a few days and we've been quite enjoying it. This is like 
like a, like a, like a, like a fluffy sand dollar. And now, honestly, we're just waiting on the weather to clear up before we can clear out of this marina. We have quite a few options on where to go. We're in the Bahamas. There's beautiful places all around. We don't exactly know where we're going yet, but we are sure that it's going to be a great time. So thank you for joining us on our adventure so far, and we hope that you come along with us.